on a beach. <laughs> no, that's for tourists. Um, we want the real New Orleans who do voodoo magic. Daughter of the Tiano people, faithful to Guinea. And I don't do none of this water down New Orleans voodoo, hoodoo bullshit. <laughs> this is a Haitian house. Comprendez-vous? Oui, oui. And the voodoo practice in this house, mon chéri, is a way of life. Yeah, which is New England, which is, eh? What is it you seek? Not a what. Who? Mm. A man. A betrayer. A murderer. Someone who could be anywhere in the world, if not another dimension. You will need a world map. <sighs> something on this man. Air, clothes, a photo. His blood? I do have his blood inside me. <laughs> that will do. Peace and blessings, family. It's a glorious day. I'm coming in real quick, nothing too crazy, to talk about the excitement that I am feeling, the overwhelming joy that I am feeling right now, okay, off of this third season of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Now, let me give y'all the backstory as to why I'm so damn excited. A couple weeks ago, I get an anonymous email, one I can't reply to. So I'm reading, and as it goes in, it's saying that they are noting and are very influenced and very happy with the work that I am doing on my YouTube channel. And that don't be surprised if I'm to see the influences and the uh, speakings of my work to be featured on any type of shows or, you know, outlets and different things. So I'm like, okay, that's what's up. Bigs up. All right. Feels good to know you're doing something right, right? So... Come, lo and behold, just the other day here, over the weekend, I get a minute, and I love me some Sabrina the Teenage Witch on Netflix. Boom, season three comes. First episode. Prudence got issues. She trying to find her daddy. She got, she like, I, this ain't working out. I need some backup. I need to really get into some things to find him, because he ain't easy to find. So, she goes to New Orleans. They show the setting is New Orleans. They go to New Orleans, and they go and hook up with a Haitian mambo. Okay, I think her name in the uh, show was Mambo Michelle Lafleur or something of that of that nature. Anywho, she cracks the net, bow, bow, and starts talking to her like, let me tell you about who I am. Because, see, Prudence comes in there. You know, she she in her emotions, and she and her feelings thinking she almighty and powerful. So, boom, but she come for the help. Like, you know, I'm here looking for some of that voodoo, hoodoo magic or whatever, right? So, my Haitian Mambo turns around like, let me school you on something real quick so you understand what you about to get into, right? So, boom, she comes in and she says, I am high priestess Haitian Mambo of IET, all right? Off the bat, boom. Then she comes in even stronger like of the Taino bloodline. Boom, right again. Then she finishes it off of Guinea. All right, of the spirit of Flanguine, of the Guinea. All right, boom, sealed the deal. The way she came through on that was just like, oh, say no more. How long have I been telling y'all that, yes, Africa does have a part to do with Haitian voodoo, the West African tradition? However, they brought in to mix with the already practices that was going on of the Taino peoples, okay, Black indigenous Taino native 
to the land of IT, okay, of Kiskeya, all right, that that's always been there. So you can't try to come and deny nothing. Now, in pop culture, this has been going on all over, y'all. I always tell you guys one thing, and this is what she said that really got me tingling. I was like, oh, come through. She said, voodoo is a way of life. So meaning I ain't on this little play play shit. You ain't gonna be trying to come tell me to give you no watered down shit as to what they've been giving <clears throat> these days out there, all right? Within the voodoo <clears throat> world, specifically on the energy of what they say New Orleans voodoo is. Now let's explain that a little bit more because we know that you can't really say New Orleans voodoo if you don't say Haitian voodoo. Haitian voodoo is New Orleans voodoo, but there has been a watering down that has taken place by certain figure and energies. The ones that have it in their hands to commercialize it have watered it down to what it is. But you can't say that you're practicing, quote unquote, New Orleans voodoo, especially the natives and things there, without knowing that you got that Haitian bloodline going through your veins. I.e., when we talk about the great voodoo queen marie laveau you can't go there y'all gotta understand she had haitian descent in her we have to remember haiti were free men free peoples they are the ones that have migrated the most from any caribbean nation any west indies place a country than any others they were the first to come in in masses so much to the point that again what? Founder of Chicago, Aïsien. The first black millionaire was a Haitian man. Okay? All this thing where you get your Oscars and they get awards from the Oscar, that was from Oscar Michaud. All right? That was Haitian descent and bloodline. Ain't no French. What do you mean French? Ain't no, this whole French Creole thing that y'all try to give me. Y'all crack me up with this. Is that for you guys to say that you have what? This European bloodline in you? Like, stop with it. Stop. I'm tired of people trying to downgrade the power of Haitian voodoo and the roots thereof of America. Haitian people fought for America. And that's why it's sickening to see that our very own people, all right, who say that they scholars and know things, is not promoting this, is not bringing this to light. Like you playing yourself. And what I keep telling people, and this is prophecy, all right? Black America, you are responsible for the West Indies. Specifically, you owe and are indebted to IET because they came here and fought in the American Revolution. They came here and gave inspiration for, uh, for the rest of Black America to get free. This is in memoirs, okay, of Frederick Douglass, who became an ambassador in IET. Shout out to the ancestor. So it was a group conglomerate and effort. I agree. But all of this, you know, <clears throat> these other particular African traditions, which I love and respect anything that brings you to come into knowing yourself and your roots and where you're from. I will always give that love and respect. There's never a time. But you have to follow the trail. This thing was prophesized, yo. Like, that in the lasting days, okay, these that are running the industries would have to come out with the truth. Would have to say it for what it is. They can't deny Haitian voodoo no more. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Ain't no in between. You don't see them up there talking about Ifa. You don't see them up there talking about Payo and Cadomble and um, Santaria and all this other. I respect them and love them all. However... What I have to always be here to let you guys understand as to what my position is here is to let you know that Haitian voodoo is the reason why anybody could even be up in here in America practicing what they practice in the first place. So you got to give respect where respect is due. If you're a person who's a spiritual speaker on YouTube, I don't care what outlet, make sure that out your tongue comes that you couldn't have what you had if it was not for, yes, the side of the West African slaves and descendants, but also the Taino, all right? P flat out. I'm not hearing enough of the Taino indigenous natives that were on the land of IET. That's being forgotten and trying to be erased. And that's not going to happen on my clock anyway. 
You feel me? So I'm just letting y'all know it's been a joy to see. And when I always say that voodoo is a lifestyle, when I've been talking in my previous previous videos about the Taino connection and bloodline and how right now we are also kind of in, and I spoke about this on my last YouTube live stream. Shout out to the brother who was with me, Brother Herunaki, speaking about this same subject, telling people, yo, we can't move forward if we do not properly help to ascend these ancestors and also give respect where respect is due. Because there's many other native indigenous tribes here in the Americas, and I appreciate each and every one of them, all of them. It's a power st structure of all, but let's not forget a key component in it, though. This is all I'm saying. Because this is going to increase your magic by knowing this. It's going to increase your ability to operate in this American system and economy. Prosperity and everything is linked to Wi-Fi. I keep telling y'all this. People think it's a joke, but it's Wi-Fi. The people making these shows, these uh, millions of dollars being spent, it's because they understand metaphysics. They understand formulas and how it works. When you tap into the Wi-Fi that belongs to your area and region, you're gonna prosper. The ancestors stand in front of whatever they do because they're giving them the respect, yo. You guys got to understand, it's not about a color. It's about the energy and who's giving the energy. They take their time and energy and money to make sure that they propping and bigging up these ancestors. They know what time it is. It's to know American history is to know Haitian history, period. It's a direct link. There's no nothing to debate about that. All right, so we're going to stop with this in 2020 of trying to erase or not giving glory where glory is due when it comes to these ancestors, specifically this time, you know, bloodline, which still exists in the mountains of IET today. My very own Kai P4. For those that get the privilege to go, when you go there, you ain't seeing nothing but Taino Indians up in there. And that's how I know. It's not called Kai before House of the Highest for nothing. Trust. That was the ancestors came through and gave that name, not me. <laughs> okay? So I'm just letting y'all know, like, yo, it's all love and I respect whatever it takes you to get to your African spirituality and your power. But let's keep it real, yo. We can't try to delete the very ancestors and the energy. I'll be damned. That's not what this is about, yo. So I'm just letting y'all know the diaspora of America, of the Americas, could not be what it is today had it not been for those indigenous ancestors that were already there. All right, those beautiful copper tone, brown tone ancestors that was already there. They met up with the West Africans that were slaves, had to heal them, break curses off of them to get them strong and ready to join forces so we could even fight what we know as the Haitian Revolution today. So let's understand this story. Let's go deeper. Let's dig into it and be adults and stop being involved in the energy of ego or what fits the <clears throat> status quo for right now. There's a lot of falseness and our people be the same ones spreading the falseness. It's ridiculous. So you can't say now that you didn't know because I know if one thing I do on this channel, regardless of the needing the numbers of this or that, is I come with the real what people don't want to talk about or what do we don't want to address that needs to be addressed. I.e. Bobo, give thanks to the ancestors all day, every day. So I just had to give that joy because let me tell you, along with all so many other shows, you know, American Gods. There was this girl, she died. And the whole basis of the season, the last season, was trying to get her back to life. They searched high and low. They went to the technology god, to the this, to the that. They did everything they could at the last Freaking result. They had to head to New Orleans, but they went in what? On the Haitian voodoo, the Loire, the Loire. They went into Bon Criminel, the Mama Brigitte effect. There was a whole function showing you how they restored her back, but it was voodoo. Voodoo, voodoo, voodoo. So let's not forget where the root of voodoo that could ever even be in the Americas really comes from. Like, let's not ever forget that. Because the ancestors that be, is watching and we got things to do so we got to understand the concepts of where we're dealing from a spiritual and metaphysical standpoint it's a formula y'all follow through and understand what time it is now within that being said within that being 
set in the coven, even. Boom! I give you the coven. What? Who they had to go to, man? They had to go to Papa Legba. They couldn't find no answers. Your girl Angela Bassett was playing them. Didn't know what else. They didn't know what else to do with themselves. They like y'all. We're not going to get across if we don't go and visit Papa. Though they showed him in his improper image, as I always say, that was a bon criminel that they tried to show you Papa Leg, but, but still, I'm going off a of jest. How influential. All right? What's that other show that just originated from France? Okay? Um, what is the name of this dang on? Um, Mortel. Mortel. Mortel was a powerful, showing you again, a Haitian voodoo priestess, a mamba, but this was a show shot in France. Now it's exploded and everybody's talking about it. And it's on other platforms now trying to get it. Netflix broke it and it's been off the hook ever since. That whole obey effect, you feel me? But they show you she has her granddaughter and her grandmother is a voodoo priestess helping out this little rich a European man, so he, that devils don't get up into him and that he can prosper and all kinds of other things. So, again, they know what time it is, yo. They ain't never not known. It's about do you know what time it is? Okay? Now, within that said, I am this close to closing my doors to the class that I got coming up. Okay, the last day to sign up is Tuesday. And I say that strongly because I got to send y'all the details to be able to link in and get your face in the place. I am really excited about this one. This is a great way to start off the 2020. And I can't wait to see y'all on the inside. So do what you got to do. You already know what it is. We're getting into that magic of the ancestral veneration so we can further do the work that we need to do so badly amongst ourselves and our communities. Okay? I.E. Bobo. And for those that want to know where my dope hoodie coming from real quick, let me get a little something, something. That's nothing but the infamous Jobalobo Soup. All right? Jobalobo Soup up in this thing. So if you ain't checked it out yet, yeah, we coming through real serious on that. Now, peace, love, and blessings, and let's get this work for 2020. Get on the winning team. I.E. Bobo.